This just in from Sky Sports. Brendan Rodgers has been sacked from his managerial position at Liverpool Football Club. So guys, that's right. It's finally the start of our manager mode career. I've recorded the, the first episode about three different times with three different teams. And you know, I never really liked it. But this, now this is one that I'm going to go with. Uh, Liverpool is a team that we are going to use. So yeah, let's jump into our career as manager of Liverpool, taking over from the reins of uh, of Brendan Rodgers. Don't know don't know why exactly he was sacked, but uh, Liverpool decided that I was the man for the job. And so yeah, take a look at the squad that we got here. Really solid squad. And we got players like Suarez, Coutinho, Gerrard, Sturridge, Mignolet in the goal, Sacco. Really excited to use Liverpool in a manager mode, and hopefully I can make some good signings with that $27 million that we got sitting around. So guys, this is fresh off the loading screen now. First thing I always like to do whenever I start a manager mode with a career is check out the squad, you know, see what kind of players we got, and set up a default starting 11. So uh, you see, this is what it looked like when we first got in there. Suarez at striker, Coutinho at Cam, Sterling, Henderson, in the left and right mid, Allen, Gerrard, the DMs, Flanagan, and Johnson, the fullbacks, Skirtle, and Agger, the center backs, Mignole, and the goal. And I did end up changing up the lineup, and you'll see those changes here. You see a change in formation, Suarez and Sturridge up front, Coutinho at Cam, Sterling and Moses are now the mids, Gerrard, Gerrard is a DM, Sissoko, Johnson, and we have Sacco, Skirtle. Next thing I always like to do when I begin a new manager mode is see if there are any old guys who are still good, you know, who are still worth maybe a good five or six million. So, you know, scrolling down the list here, I also want to see the center backs that we have because the center backs are getting kind of old on Liverpool. See, Colo, Touré, I was going to go sell him, but then he was recently bought. And then we get a transfer offer for Luis Suarez. And I I'm just going to reject and disallow all offers. There's no way I'm getting rid of Suarez. He is our star. I mean, I think Suarez, he's going to stay in Liverpool till the day he retires. But now I said the center backs were kind of old at Liverpool, and I went and shortlisted three of them. I got Vlad Cherchez from Spurs. I got him being scouted right now. And then I also went and got Stephen Calker from Cardiff. Went and got him scouted. And then I went and got Matija Nastasic from Man City, and I went and got him scouted. And you always got to look for that mess, you know, that kid who you can buy for really cheap and he develops a ton and he's really good. Now, I had heard that this Bakali guy was really, really good. He's 17, don't know any of his stats, but uh, rumor has it that this guy's pretty good. So I'm going to inquire about him. So we hear back from PSV and they said $9 million. I said, you know what, I bet you I can get him for cheaper than that. I want to spend as little on this dude as possible. So I sent an offer for five. Now, it was a little outrageously low, considering you know, he's an important first-team player over there at PSV, and that gets declined right off the bat. So you know, I upped the ante a little bit. You know, I put it up, up another two mil, get it up to seven million. And that one is rejected by PSV. So then I'm like, okay, you know what? 8.5 is a deal. I probably could have got him just for 8 million, but you know, an extra 500k is not going to hurt anything. I'll just ensure the fact that we get the signing. And sure enough, we do. You see, Bakali, we're working on his contract now. I always like to give the player an extra year. You know, if you're going to give him the extra year, you pretty much have to give them, you know, an, an, extra, an extra amount of money to make up for that extra year. And Bakali was having none of that, looking at the contract, rejecting it. He wants to know what kind of role he'll have on the team here at Liverpool. So, you know, I was going between a sporadic first-team player and a squad rotation player. And I feel like he'll be more of a squad rotation player, if not a starter, than Moses. Because he's this kid's 17, and he's got a lot more time to develop than Moses does. But going on to sign the center backs now, Nastasic definitely... Looks like the best option. So I'm going to go and approach City to buy Matija Nastasic, take him off their hands, 
I'm just going to go with $3 million. Now, actually, no, that's too low. There's no way they're going to accept that. So I upped it to 5 which is what it said he was worth. And they accepted the offer for Nastasic. So all that's left is to work out the contract. And hopefully that goes through. And we end up bringing Matija Nastasic into Liverpool. And then an offer comes in for Skirtle. Now, if we're bringing in Nastasic, I wouldn't mind getting rid of Skirtle. So, you know, Monaco offers 8 mil for him. I say it says 13 right there. So, I'm like, you know what? If you can give me 14, he's all yours. So, Skirtle could be selling for 14 million. I think that they'd be getting ripped off with that. But they do decide to go ahead and match the price. Bakali accepts the, uh, the contract. And so, Bakali is our first signing as the Liverpool manager. And soon after that, Nastasic would also sign his contract. So we just made two pretty good signings here at Liverpool, bringing in two good prospects. You see me here putting Nastasic on the team. He's a 77-rated player, and he's 20, so my guess is he'll probably get around that 84 to 87 range. And Bakali, he's 17, and he's a 72. So he'll probably get to be at least, going to be at least a 90-rated player. So that was definitely a steal getting him for like, what was it, $8.5 million? Absolute bargain price for Bacali. So we got our first friendly in our first game as the Liverpool manager. We're playing Monaco, that team that is in the running to get Skirtle. So, you know, this is kind of going to be a test of the team. I'm not really, um, I, I won't be too mad if we if we lose this. Obviously, I want us to win this. But, you know, it's, it's just a friendly. It's just preseason, you know, getting used to some of the new signings, playing some of the younger dudes. But right off the bat, we get a chance to one-two ball with Sturge and Suarez. Sturge then smacks it, but a great save there by Chabot, the goalkeeper. And look at this. This is why we paid the money for Nastasic. Boom. Sacco screws up. Nastasic makes up for his mistake. Beautiful. Unfortunately here, Sacco couldn't do much as Jermaine is going to put Monaco up 1-0 early in the first half. But we could answer right back here. Sturridge hit him with a fake shot. Then he hits him with a pass. Gerrard had a great shot that was just blocked by Tululan. He's going to whip that in now. Header on it by Nastasic and just puts it over the bar. That could have knotted the game up here. Great 1-2 play from Monaco Fabinho. Right in, shoots it off the post. The rebound foul, Cal gets to it, but Mignole doing a good job there cutting that ball out. And that would bring us to the end of the first half. Score would be 1-0 to Monaco after 45 minutes of play. And here, great back heel by Coutinho. Suarez busting through, but he just can't get the shot off. This game was real back and forth. Monaco with another good offensive play there. Sacco being a goofball again, just about costing us a goal. Willie, no. Mignole, again, Sacco relying on another teammate to make up for his stupid mistakes. This time, though, again, he's doing stupid. I honestly don't know if that was a block or a save, but nevertheless, the ball stayed off the goal. But here's Bacali, cutting into the box, hitting it. I think that hit a Monaco player on its way to the goal before, uh, before it left his foot. I don't know why that shot was so weak. It looked like he was in a good position. And that brings us to full time. So we lose this game 1-0. But with the way we played, I'm not upset about that at all. You can see we had, we had only 38% possession. But 7 shots and 5 on target. That is great play from us. Second friendly of the episode here. Coming up against the Italian side, Fiorentina. Mario Gomez. I don't believe he started for them. No, he Mario Gomez did not start, but he did get subbed on the second half. So this one is away from Anfield, so we got to go all the way to Italy to play this friendly. And they're going to end up getting the first chance of the game here. This time it's Sacco doing some good defending and then some poo-poo defending. Seems like Sacco always makes a good challenge and then screws it up. A good shot there that Mignole saw the way and was able to make the grab on. But here we're going to get a chance. It's Soko up to Raheem Sterling. Sterling 1-2 ball with Suarez. Suarez puts it out in front of Sterling. Sterling, Sterling has a crack. Save, Suarez, finish it, son. Oh, it just gets blocked. Oh, my, Suarez. Hope had an open goal to shoot at. It gets blocked. Now Fiorentina's on the attack. And there's Sissoko stepping up. Sissoko and Nastasic combining there for a great defensive play. 
And that brings us to the 48th minute now, start of the second half. Johnson has a smack, and that one's right into the chest of the goalkeeper. Played out wide. Raheem Sterling getting on it now. Look at this. Just plays it through. That's right to Sturridge. Sturridge just chipped that. Oh, my days. I meant to take that with the first touch. I wanted to chip that over him. Did not quite work out that way, though. Now we got Johnson playing a through ball into Victor Moses. Moses stops up, has a shot. I know for a fact that one didn't deflect. So, I mean, in my opinion right now, Bakali is our starting uh, right mid. He is a right wing, but he uh, I'm just playing him at right right, uh, right mid because oh, there's not really too much of a difference between a right mid position and a right wing position. The Stasic almost had a goal there. Just got cleared off the goal line. And now we got a chance here. Moses sending it up. Johnson. Johnson stops up. Finds Sturridge. Sturridge has a crack. And it's in the back of the net. A great smack by Sturridge from outside the box. Finds its way in. That was a really, really good strike. It curled perfectly around the goalkeeper. See Sturridge dancing. No, that's not the actual Sturridge dance. Come on, EA. Fix that. And that would bring us to the end of the game and the ep end of the episode, guys. So we won one and lost one in this episode. Got one friendly left, and then we start the Premier League. So if there are any signings that you guys want me to make, I believe I have somewhere around somewhere around $14 million left. It's not a ton, but we can make some moves with that. Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching this uh, manager mode. I look forward to bringing you guys more manager mode content. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Link to that is in the description below. And adios.